I have, <coughs> excuse me, one side border sewn together but not sewn onto the centerpiece yet. Uh, kind of lined up, placed out uh, the different charm squares. Um, this one takes four across on top of the bottom. And of course the eight down on each side. The side is obviously loaded with the cranberry. That one has more browns, uh, but that's okay. That's kind of gives you an idea of the finished look, what it will be like. So, just need to do the borders, and it'll be time to find fabric for the back. Actually, I found this piece. Not quite sure where this was. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know if it's big enough. It doesn't feel like it's big enough. So, we'll see. I'll find something. So, it's coming along. I have the two side borders sewn on. And <clears throat> to finish the top, I just have the top and the bottom to do. So I shall square those up, get those sewn on. And the top will be done, and we'll go looking for something to put on the back of this one. So, what do you think about doing a second one, but flipping? You see, I put all the dark colors as the geese in this one with the light colors in the background. So, what if I were to make a second one where I flip that, and I had the darks on the outside and the light colors in the middle? Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I kind of like this one. wasn't thinking of doing table runners with that charm pack, but I could also do one of those that I did before. I've forgotten what it's called. The zigzag. One of uh, Jenny Missouri Star Quilts um, was a zigzag one, and I did a lot of those last year, year before. Um, I could do that with a, with a third charm. I, yeah, I don't know. Let me finish this one. I get ahead of myself, so top and bottom to go.